It's time for more Roadrunner football here in the UTSA revamp dynasty. The Roadrunners take on Kansas and there is much less snow on the field for this year's meeting as we are in San Antonio with the Roadrunners at 2-1 coming off a heartbreaking defeat a week ago in their loss to Oklahoma State. They'll look to avenge that loss and the loss they had last year at Kansas in a very strange 14-9 game. And after the way we lost the game a week ago, A.J. Brown allowing three touchdowns, I want to see how he bounces back these next couple weeks. He typically doesn't allow many big plays. But let's get this game underway. The Roadrunners have won the toss and have elected to receive. And we are underway in the fourth game of the season. And here is Marvin Stokes on the return. Makes a move, he breaks a tackle and coughs up the football. And the Jayhawks will take over in UTSA territory. Stokes has been the return man this year. He's done a pretty good job, but you have to protect the football to keep that role. Kansas ball at the 25 of the Roadrunners. They go single high safety. Lawrence Arnold is the motion man on first down, and Jason Bean connects with him for about seven yards. Flex bone look for the Jayhawks. They bring Neal in motion to the left. First down, Bean brought down at the six by Jason Hall, and it's goal to go, Kansas. Looking to capitalize quickly off the turnover. Fullback dive and stuff by Kyle Jones. Roadrunners hoping to force a field goal try here. I formation, two receivers to the right. They give it to Highshaw. He's going to run this in off tackle for the touchdown. And for Kansas, they take the opening drive away from the Roadrunners, and they're going to have the ball coming out of the second half. I think everybody was hoping this would be a nice bounce back opportunity. Kansas doesn't normally win a lot of games, but they were tough against us a year ago. And now look where we are. The first drive for the Roadrunners is now underway. And this is a four yard pickup for Vince Taylor, who's still off to a pretty slow start this season, much like the running game a year ago. On the toss, there's nowhere to go. Played nicely on the outside by Taiwan Berryhill. It's third down. A little pressure dialed up. Chris Swell delivers to the outside. Cut by Joe Wright. He's got the first. And Wright still has not dropped a pass this season and leads the team in receptions. The man in motion is Keytron Jackson. He gets the flip across the 50. Makes a move into the open field and caught at the 25. It's a 28-yard explosive play for Keytron Jackson. Every week they find new ways to get him involved, whether it be in the running game or through the air. Fake to Taylor. Rolling and throwing. Caught by Carter inside the 10. Roadrunners looking to answer. Reese, the offset fullback on first down as Taylor drives ahead and he's in for the touchdown. An impressive start offensively for the Roadrunners as they tie the game at seven. Jayhawks have it inside their own 30, empty backfield, and the draw, Jason Bean, with a tough run close to the marker. He will run a lot, sometimes by design, sometimes not. Third and one, blitzed, the pass is caught by Trevor Wilson for a first down. Three receivers in the game. And to the air on first down, Bean looks to scramble, and he's got the daylight, first down and more to the UTSA 41-yard line. It's a gain of 21. They bring down Dallas Johnson here on first down, a little end around and a cutback. Heads up running there for Lawrence Arnold as he picks up eight. Third and two for the Kansas Jayhawks. Off the play fake, wide open, it's hauled in by Will Huggins for a gain of 10. So Kansas had the turnover that set them up at about this spot. Now they work their way down the field and take it to the 11. There is Arnold again, the top receiver. Second down, Bean slips and he's sacked. I think he got his feet tangled up there trying to drop back and Preston Quinn will take that. 
third sack of the year. Third down, caught again by Lawrence Arnold. They're not trying to do too much here through the air, but a very good start. Now their 11th play of the drive, being sacked again. There's the TCU transfer, Patrick Jenkins. And this is a tougher third down for Kansas, now backed up at the 10. Bean throws underneath, Grimm breaks the tackle, and he's in for the touchdown. Kansas drives down the field and retakes the lead. That was a 13-play possession, and Jason Bean completed every pass he threw. We could be in for a tough matchup just like we were a season ago. Rolling out to the right, Jacoby Criswell tucks and runs, first down, and a late flag. And that's going to be on Darren Rose. A legal block in the back. It happened right at the end of the run. Very unnecessary penalty. Silly mistakes here early on for the Roadrunners as the pass is off the mark. Good coverage there on Darren Rose. Third down now for the Roadrunners. Chris Swell leaving the pocket to his left. He's going to run this. Lost the ball again, and the Jayhawks have it. The second lost fumble now for UTSA, and this time it's Chriswell, who had no chance of getting the first down. That hit was avoidable, and it's going to cost UTSA with Kansas having their second short field. Last play of the first quarter. It's Highshaw on the outside. Good run, gain of eight. Kansas coming into San Antonio and giving everything they have here early on. Third down, caught again by Huggins to move the sticks. They're going empty this time, third and three. The draw is a possibility here, but Bean from the pocket completes. Inside the five to Trevor Cardell. Goal to go Jayhawks. Two drives, two touchdowns for them. Bean on the keeper, touchdown Kansas. This team will throw a lot at you offensively, and at least here early on, it's all working. This is not how I expected this game to go. A 14-point deficit. They'll get Taylor in space now on the swing screen. That's good for eight. The key now, though, has to be to protect the football. No more silly turnovers. Taylor on the outside, tripped up. Limited to the gain of five. Reese offset and Taylor downhill, but wrapped up after a short pickup. Five rushes for 16 yards. Now a tough third down against the Blitz. Pass hold in. That's Keytron Jackson. 25 more. He makes his touches really count. He's in the slot this time on first down. Now a screen for Joe Wright with some blocking. Nice play there, gain of nine. Roadrunners into the red zone. First and 10, pass caught by Joe Wright. 11 more. That's three catches here in the first half. Two tight ends on the field. They go Taylor's way. And he picks up a couple more. UTSA just a couple of yards away. Third down, they toss it to Taylor, and he's right at the goal line, and Mark Short. Is that worth a challenge? The Roadrunners will keep the offense out there. Fourth down, sneaking in for the touchdown is Jacoby Criswell. The Roadrunners make it a touchdown game. We need to see more from this defense. They have been on their heels here in the first half. Kansas up 21-14. Grimm hauls it in. Tough grab, gain of seven. Flex bone third down. To the right side, blocked well. First down for Bean across the 50. You never know what way they're gonna go here. They run this triple option alongside a more traditional offense. First and 10, here comes the pressure, and the pass is picked off! Dallas Johnson's going the other way, and they won't catch him! This game is tied! They got aggressive that time. They blitzed Jason Bean, free rusher, Kyle Jones. 
That forces the bad decision. And finally, we make a play on defense. All tied up. Kansas football again inside two minutes here. Bean back to the air. Down he goes. Sacked by Eric Crenshaw. How about this? They are eight for eight on third downs. Now needing 13. There's a sack. And the Roadrunner defense stepping up here late in the first half. That is two sacks on the day for Preston Quinn. And now another drive for UTSA. 39 seconds to play in the first half. Here's the pressure. Chris Well completes to Chris Woods. They call a timeout. They have one remaining. 34 seconds. Actually inside 30 seconds now. Free rusher. Dumped and dropped the football. Taylor scoops. And Kansas will break the tie with a defensive touchdown of their own. Three lost fumbles in this half. All of them led to touchdowns. What are we doing here? This is an unfocused half of football for the Roadrunners. 28-21. Stokes from the five. Let's hope he holds on to the football. He's got a lane across the 40. Stokes into Kansas territory and tripped up. Great run back. They have a chance here with 13 seconds. Pressure coming again. Chris Swell delivering downfield, and he overthrows Darren Rose, who was open behind the defense. Empty on second down, six seconds to go. Chris Swell, jump ball in the end zone, intercepted. And Kansas will carry this seven-point lead into half. And the Roadrunners, this one isn't as costly, although... Missed the chance maybe to add three. That's four first half turnovers. And Kansas is getting the football to begin the second half. You're not going to beat many teams making as many mistakes as UTSA has today. And they've done it from the opening kickoff of this game. Kansas has controlled the clock. They've outrushed UTSA. And they've been better on third downs. Daniel Highshaw, room off tackle, and that's a first down for the Jayhawks. Gain of eight. Corners giving a big cushion here on second down, and Bean leaves the pocket, and again has running room. He gets the first down into UTSA territory. He has ran for 70 yards. Highshaw, what a hit in the backfield. That was unblocked Chris Washington. Here's a brand new look. That is Devin Neal, the Wildcat quarterback. He looks to keep and gets wrapped up on the play by Brandon Ford. It's a tough third down here, needing 16. Well outside of field goal range. This pass is bobbled and dropped. There is a stop for the Roadrunners. Let's hope they can protect the football better in this half. They have lost three fumbles. Now Jackson on the sweep, trying to turn the corner, and he gets 10. Brandon Reese in the game as they give it to Taylor. Room off tackle. There's a first down. He's across the 50. Late flag. And now this play is going to be wiped out with an illegal block. Silly penalties, turnovers. Chriswell rolling to the right. Got it to Davis. He stays in bounds. First down. Over the top. He's got 21. And a roadrunner first down. There's a play that'll fire up the sideline. Great job staying in bounds. And then just trying to get everything he can on this play. Risk a fumble on that one. But the roadrunners run it now. Not much here for Curtis Mills. Third down and eight. They motion out Taylor. Dump it off to him. And the Jayhawks close quickly. It's fourth down with the offense staying on the field. They need the 34-yard line for a conversion. Chris Swell, quick throw. Caught by Darren Rose. First down. Jackson and Wright are the two receivers now as Chris Swell 
leaves the pocket. He's got room again and slides after scrambling for six yards. Two tight ends on the field. Rose is back in the game. Third down. The pass is caught. And that is the third tight end, Steven Alexander, making his first catch of the season. Roadrunners going empty. This is third and ten. And Chris Well hit by the unblocked defender. That's a good blitz dialed up there by Kansas. They weren't showing anything but bring the slot. Never ready for that one. Here is a 44-yard field goal try now for James Benson. And this kick is good. Kansas still leads 28-24. First play of the drive. High Sean, the carry, trying to shake Lawrence, and he still gets 10. Flex bone. They bring Neal in motion to the right side. That's a good pickup for Jason Bean. Nine yards. Now they go with the two fullback look. This is the Maryland formation. And Bean scrambling out. He breaks the tackle. And now down the sideline for some extra as he gains 18. He's well over 100 yards when you forget about the sacks. Flipping this to Daniel Highshaw. Nice hit by Ford. There is a penalty. And Kansas will back up. I formation on second and 19. Just a handoff to Highshaw. Not sure I understand that call on second down. Now third and a mile. They are 8 of 10 on third downs today. They need the 28. Up top, this pass is caught for the first down. Luke Grimm between two defenders. This throw is perfect. Right between Matthews and Reynaldo Lawrence, who has had his struggles this year on the outside. He's a first-year starter. Now first and 10, scrambling ahead to the 10, and for a first down is Jason Bean. They break out the flex bone on first down. Toss to Neal, tripped up. That was Washington again. They go from the flex bone to empty shotgun. And some movement up front. And they're going to get the road runners. There is another penalty. They go to the I formation now. They're all over the place. Off the fake. Bean sees nothing. Scrambles ahead and is stopped after a short gain. Third and goal Kansas. And they're going empty again. To the air. Time to throw. Now scrambling. He broke a tackle, but won't get to the end zone, and it's fourth down. And Kansas will go for it. An aggressive call up four in the fourth. To the right. Wrapped up. He didn't get it. Kansas going for the two-score lead, and they're denied by Jason Hall. And UTSA will take over, backed up but only down four points. The handoff to Taylor, he's got some room, and that's a first down as he fights his way for 12. Reese the fullback, they go to Taylor again. Nice cut back, he makes another man miss. First down, Vince Taylor. 20 yards, his longest of the day. Curtis Mills checks in as Chriswell drops back, and he wants to scramble. But they get to him. It's a loss of five. It's Jackson slot right, second and 15 against the Blitz. Chris Well off balance. And he had him open, just couldn't get away a clean pass. Third and 15 for the Roadrunners. More pressure coming. Chris Well stands in and caught by Wright. The drive continues. How about the play of Joe Wright this season? He has taken a significant leap. He's become a much more polished receiver. First and 10, UTSA. Quick strike, caught by Keytron Jackson. That's 12. What a huge drive this has been behind the best runs of Taylor. A big catch from Wright. Now Chriswell rolling. There's no receivers over here, but he's got some room. Down the sideline, shedding a tackle. 
19 for Jacoby Criswell. Goal to go. Hands off to Curtis Mills. He's got the opening and almost gets in. They're one yard out. Shotgun heavy from the one. Chriswell keeping for the touchdown. And the Roadrunners have captured a fourth quarter lead. Three and change left to go. What a drive. Going 96 yards. Now can the UTSA defense protect it? Kansas needs a field goal at the least. First and 10 from the 25. Quickly flip to Daniel Highshaw with room on the edge. Gaining eight. The whole playbook is wide open here for the Jayhawks. Bean on second down, scrambling away. First down across the 40 and tripped up by Brandon Matthews. 14 more. 120 on the ground for Jason Bean. To give this one to High Shaw. Quick cut to the right and then stumbling ahead. Gain of six. They've been excellent on third down. And now on third and four, they back themselves up with a false start. They still need the 42 of the Roadrunners. Bean, three-man rush, gets it away, well shy of the marker. And now it's all up to a fourth down and seven. Split backfield, only two receivers on the outside. To the middle, caught! First down, Will Huggins. Kansas inside two minutes as they make their way into field goal range. From the empty look, four on the rush, and they get to him for the sack. Loss of eight, Buster Mitchell. We're down to a minute 25. Kansas at the UTSA 38. Scrambling ahead, Bean broke a tackle of Quinn, continues forward, gaining six. And he is shaken up on the play. He is leaving the field on one of the biggest plays of the day, and this is now Ben Easters at quarterback. Easters to the air, has time to throw, has Grimm up to the 26. And they'll bring out the field goal team with 51 seconds remaining. And this will be a game-tying attempt. 43 yards left hash. Drifting, no good! And the Roadrunners will take over. And they lead this game 31-28. And there's very little Kansas can do. Jacoby Criswell takes a knee. There is a three second difference. And now fourth and 10, Criswell rolling. He throws it away and the Roadrunners have won their third game of the season. A tough battle here at home against Kansas and this time it's the Roadrunners who are victorious. 31-28 is the final. What a game. And it was a game where the Roadrunners really did not play their best football, especially early on. But give some credit to the defense who put up a touchdown and shut out Kansas all second half. To me, the biggest play of this game was when Kansas had the ball up four, just a yard or so out of the end zone, and they went for a touchdown as opposed to a field goal to go up seven. They did what I think is the right call, try to go up two scores there, and they just couldn't do it. And then, of course, you get in range for a potential field goal, you have to hit that. The Roadrunners squeak by in this one. We got to play better than that. Defense really didn't contain the quarterback well, and it's tricky at times because they run triple option, they go empty, they do a lot of things that... Keep me in defenses I don't like a lot. Like, I don't like doing three-man rushes, and sometimes that's what it takes if you want to spy the quarterback but still feel good about your coverages. So, a lot of man coverage in this game, spying the safeties from time to time, but that's where I think that Lawrence isn't as reliable, Matthews isn't as reliable, and then we don't cover the tight ends well enough. 
Let's switch over to recruiting. There is some stuff to talk about. We have our first committed player of the class. It is four-star athlete KJ Marseille from Austin, Texas. And he's going to be joining the team as likely a defensive back. There are many players we're still in first place for that I feel really good about. And I have been scouting, but I also upgraded Coach William Lindsley's scouting ability. And that actually messed up a little bit to where some of these players I'll have at like 35 or 40. And then if I scout them again, it goes to 60. So once I get to 50 or it's a past that then I won't be scouting anymore. For players I haven't scouted at all, it'll be easier to get to exactly 50, but that's why you'll see some players here at 60%, but they won't be scouted any further. It's certainly been much more promising early in the season. For one, we already had a lot of interest from players as opposed to a year ago, and I'm not having to get out of too many of these battles. There are really good players, and we have a really good chance to get them. Keith Combs, kicker. This is a risky one here because we know he has 70 kick accuracy. He's at 50% scouted, and I don't know the kick power. But I probably still have to go after him because I need a kicker for next season. Here is defensive tackle Andy Meyer, kind of a longer-term project player, not a very good athlete. Then we have some running backs here, starting with four-star Jacob Grammer, number six running back in the nation. And this is actually a situation I want to get out of. Not the best burst, doesn't catch the ball well, and Houston's way out in front. Let's focus our attention more so on the number eight running back, Jason Williams, who is six foot four, has a bit more speed, and the spin and elusiveness already check out is really solid. Charles K. I don't know how to pronounce this last name. He is really slow but he can pass rush and has some man cover ability. I just worry about his athleticism and where to put him. There's a tackle, Carl Gaddy, another four star. We're doing pretty well for four star players. We should have a much higher ranked recruiting class this season. And then one player I just recently scouted, Tommy Hughes. Really excited about what I've scouted from him so far. 90 acceleration, 74 hit power, 72 press, 71 man coverage. So he might be a hybrid safety player. We'll see what happens with him. And next week, we take on a winless team. This is Utah State. So one of the easier matchups remaining on the schedule. And if we win this game, it'll be a 4-1 and one start for the Roadrunners. We'll have the kicker visiting, and hopefully we get that wrapped up pretty quickly. And I've also been scouting some more new players I'll be sharing in upcoming episodes that are quite intriguing but that is going to do it for this episode roadrunners score a win let me know what you thought of the game down below in the comments please leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for much more roadrunner dynasty and i will see you all next time have a great day